Hi, it's Alison Planagic here. I just wanted to do a quick video of my on-the-go storage that I use for my um, my planners, Filofax. Filofaxes, should I say. Um, basically, I use these, um, I showed, showed them in my last video, these um, wash bags from Debenhams. They're actually from, the make is Victoria Green and they're available they're still available at the moment in Debenhams. I can't remember how much I paid. I think I paid around about £8 for the small one. And I think this large hang, one that hangs up was probably around um, £12. Um, I'm still in the process of moving into my A5. So I'm not going to show that as yet. But I just wanted to show you how they look together. They look really lovely together. I use various other forms of storage. I have this little um, stationary organiser which I got from Amazon for about £7.50. I actually have two of these but there's only this one in use at the moment. I also use, um, I have a pencil case which is a Sanderson pencil case which I've had for a few years now. Um, that just, in here just keep all my, I have um, I, I got a big pack of Sharpie pens on offer at WH Smiths a few weeks ago. So I just keep those in there. I don't use those very often because they're markers and they're not, they don't work well on Filofax paper. And then this is, I just wanted to briefly show you this. This is um, a little file. I suppose it's designed for keeping receipts in. Um, I picked it up from Ryman's, but it's the perfect size for storing um, all my personal Filofax inserts. Um, I was using the actual Filofax ones, but they are rubbish. So I picked that up. I uh, paid about three or four pound, I think, for that. So I just wanted to share that briefly. But really what I want to talk about today is... Um, is my organizer my um, stationary organizer so this one um it's, it's real they're really nice and they match each other all that i keep in here is it's a bit hard one handy but i'll try my best basically i keep a pair of scissors um these are the x cut scissors which are great for cutting washi tape because that's what i keep in here i don't have a great deal of washi tape basically i have the nin collection. I have a couple of the, oh I have a gold MT which I've used quite a bit. Um, I have, that's just a um, teal one, blue, blue teal one was just a paper chase one as was that one. And then these two along with that are actually see them there they're lovely they're actually calf kidson and then i just have a small little pad I've not used these as yet but it's a small you can see very thin neon mt washi tape so as you can see my washi tape collection is very small compared to most filofaxes or planner obsessed people um but i don't decorate my pages so i don't feel the need to have any amount really i just keep pick, i will just keep picking up an odd bit here and there but i tend to just use it um to highlight things um to make things stand out in the panel so basically it's a lovely little case it's all dotty inside as well and it's perfect for the amount of washi tape that i have at the moment so that that's that and then, like I say, I showed this before. I'm just going to go into a bit more detail. It's, um, like I say, that it hangs up, which is great because when I sit on my chair doing my filofaxing, I just hang it on the windowsill next to the chair. Like I say, it's just a, a wash bag. Um, I'll start in this section. It's basically, I just have all my... Um, I have a ruler in there because I don't like using the Filofax ruler. I have all my post-it arrows and ta um, markers. I have some Martha Stewart stickers. Um, I have these little heart stickers that I picked up. I think it was from Asda actually. I have some little dot ones which I got 
think they were only about 50p at Wilkinson's. I have, and then I have various different post-it flags. These are lovely ones. These have got study, to do, and on test. Um, and then I just have my Martha Stewart tabs. And then another set of the arrows, because I use those quite a lot. And they, these just all seem to fit really nice into this top pocket here. It, it's not all the stationery that I own. I've just got in here the majority of what I use most of the time. Um, then this middle section actually pulls off. Some Velcro and it pulls off. I can't do it one-handed. And in here I just have... A couple of sets of pens that I've recently got. I am going to do a review on them. The, the um, friction highlighters. I've got the light set and the, the more neon set. But I'm going to do a review on those. And then I just keep... I've got more index flags. I've got um, the get the hint flags i've got this is just a set from pucker i think i paid about 1.75 for it um i've got the bookmarks that i um call arrow index arrows what i showed in my last video and then i have some of the file effects reinforcing patches in here um i will probably start to keep um these I have these bigger post-it notes, which are the Martha Stewart ones, which I've had for absolutely ages, but now moving into A5, I'll probably, probably use these more as well. So I, I tend to keep whatever post-it notes I'm using at the time, depending on what file of facts I'm in, in that section. And as you can see in here, I've got, I've got, I've got more post-it notes in here. I've got more of the Martha Stewart ones. I've just had post-it notes everywhere. And then the main section here, this is my pen section. This is the section that I use the most. And these are the pens that I'm currently using at the moment. I always have a couple of Sharpie pens because um, I write on my index tabs and they're great for, for that. And I'll have a pencil. Don't use it very often, but it, it's in there. I have a couple of just, um, I think these are Zebra. I think they're Zebra pens. Yeah, they're the Zebra Z Grip. My mum actually gave me these. They're just biro pens, but I use them when I'm just writing roughly. You know, like writing out notes for my blog. And being a bit of a, I love animal print, as you can see with my, the bedding that I've got on this week. So I just have those in there. And then my favourite pens, some of my favourite pens, are the Energel. Let's see if I can get that to focus. The the liquid gelling, the Pentel. I have I have absolutely I have these all over the house actually. Um so I just keep a couple of those in there. Um next I have I'm slowly growing my collection of pilot pens. In fact I have a green one downstairs that I've just purchased yesterday. And I've not put it in here as yet. So basically I'll have, I normally have two black ones, but I tend to keep them in my file of faxes, but that one's obviously snuck in here. So I have the um, the friction ball pens, the 0 0.7, which I have. I have a two black, I've got a blue one, I've got a red one. Um, the red, and the black I use a lot. I don't really, use, I don't use the blue as much as yet. But I'm only, only just got into pilot friction, so no doubt I will. I also just picked up a green one because I'm, I use black, red, and green in my finance section. I have those. I have a little set of uh, refills for the black. Um. Then I have a blue. Um, I actually picked up this set. I think it was these three, and I got them from Tesco's. In the stationery aisle at Tesco's, and they were three pound fifty for all three. Um, I've got the 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 yellow highlighter in it. Came with a yellow highlighter. It came with a friction 0 0.5 in blue, and then it came with the black clicker 
in 0.7 so that so far as well as the green and the extra black that's my collection so far of friction pens but i'm going to do a review on these and go into more details because i want to order um a set in brighter colors as well for color coding in the diary so i keep those in there and then i have this is my collection of I love these pens these are the um the pilot juice pens and they're absolutely gorgeous pens i absolutely love them um i got an original set then i got um i think i just bought the turquoise green i bought just on its own i think i paid about four pound with postage via amazon then i had a set and then i got a metallic set so you get like you get like a metallic blue a metallic violet you get metallic pink you get a metallic green um you get a silver you get gold I think that's it. I think the rest of them are the original set. Yeah, that's yeah. So that's all the original set that I bought. Yes, yeah, so that's the original set that I bought. Where I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I got ten pens in the first set that I bought. And they were lovely colours, from purples to greens, blues, corals, pinks, bright greens. There's a black there's a red in there these are the metallics and they're absolutely stunning if you can get hold of them i got mine off amazon i really suggest that you get hold of them and like i said i, I got the turquoise green because i absolutely love teal turquoise green. so basically that's what i keep in uh, if i it moves around the house with me it comes in the bedroom sometimes i file a fax on my dining room table sometimes i do it in the living room like i say i hang this up on my windowsill and even when i go away like i said i go away with my partner i always take my file fax with me this all comes away with me so just a quick video really um if you want a more detailed review of anything that i've mentioned just leave a comment below but i am going to be over the next few weeks reviewing um all of my pen collection um i have various different highlights as i have the the stabilo i've got just one of them here i've i've used these for for years the stabilo ones and i have a set of them but i just have them in my computer downstairs so i'm going to compare all the different highlighters um, I've got a few new purchases that I want to share so I'll do more detailed pen reviews in further videos so thanks for watching give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I'd love you to subscribe bye